Good morning dear friends and greetings in the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to this brand new day. The Lord has given us that we may rejoice and be glad in the Lord Jesus Christ and enjoy living. Life is to be lived by the grace of God with his presence with us and inside of us. We will make it. God bless you. Today's meditation is based on the gospel according to St John chapter 21 verses 1 to 4 because it is a long passage we are not going to read it but i encourage you to go home and read or or sit at home after this meditation read it and any time today before you sleep and uh, this is after the resurrection of jesus christ the seven disciples under the leadership of peter decided to go for fishing you remember and this is where jesus restored peter and so you now you remember the occasion consider the condition of the seven disciples on this morning as they returned to the shore after laboring the whole night out in the sea trying to catch fish you can imagine they were they, re, they were returning empty handed empty net empty baskets or buckets or whatever they carried everything and they themselves were drained away physically and uh, emotionally and mentally tired and spiritually broken and as they were returning to the shore whom did they see waiting for them jesus christ they never expected him to be there because he was not there when they decided this and uh, so they never knew that jesus would know and yet jesus himself was waiting there for him, for them now notice something about very special jesus was waiting for them at that exact spot where they arrived now how did jesus know where the disciples were okay even if you knew they were out in the sea fishing how did he know that that would be the exact spot they would spot they would arrive from the shore they could have arrived anywhere else you know what that means dear friends jesus knows exactly where you are today and jesus knows your condition like these disciples physically mentally emotionally spiritually in every way they were broken they were exhausted they were tired they were discouraged disappointed confused and they did not know what to believe and what not to believe and that was their condition and jesus was waiting for them that means he just walked into their situation into their circumstances into their weakness and you know one thing more see these were the very disciples who deserted jesus when he was arrested and ran away this was the lowest uh, moment in their spiritual life and in every aspect of life and uh, when jesus was spending his lowest moment after his arrest all his disciples deserted him the time when he needed someone the most that other man there but in the lowest moment of the disciples he came to be with them 
what a wonderful savior what a wonderful i also want you to notice how he treated them lovingly with compassion and um, he even invited them for a meal he addressed them as friends he treated them as friends that's the way he called them friends do you have any fish that you just now caught why don't you come and have a meal with me there was no scolding of to be of peter there was no anger there was no uh, sign of any 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 disappointment in the disciples that they ran away from him he did not shout at uh, shout at uh, peter and you infidel new you unfaithful one no nothing all his words were expressions of great love and compassion and he came at that moment to meet these disciples and not only that he knew exactly what they needed at that moment of time you know what they needed he needed some physical revival and for that they needed a meal something that will revive them and refresh them and make their face shining that was their greatest need and that is exactly he was providing them he himself prepared that 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 breakfast that day and what an invitation come and dine with me to these broken people what an understanding friend do we have in jesus there is a song that all of us know what a friend do we have in jesus and that is true my friends even today that jesus christ knows exactly where you are and what is your spiritual emotional mental and physical condition and he will come to you with love and compassion if you would only respond to his invitation what a savior what a friend we have in jesus truly and what an understanding savior and a notice he treated them with understanding he restored peter and he reassured the other disciples of his presence and his love and concern for them what a wonderful this is jesus today my he loves you more than ever you can imagine with a love that is beyond our understanding in spite of all our failures you know they were a failures at that moment they saw jesus one week ago after the resurrection even then they did not have the faith to believe that yes he is truly alive and so let us follow him let us trust him no in their weak weakness peter spoken one word i am going fishing and you know what you speak is going to influence somebody without you knowing it he just spake a simple sentence and all six other disciples followed him they were influenced by his decision you were decision what you speak these are all going to affect someone else and influence somebody else so be careful what you speak and what you decide May the Lord bless you and grant you grace and wisdom to speak the right word that will encourage people 
instead of drawing them away from God. And this is God's plan for you. He waits. Even if you are, anyone listening to me who feels very low in your spiritual life, in your relationship with God, and you have doubts and fears, you are afraid whether Jesus will forgive you or accept you. He is ready to forgive you, to restore you, and accept you, my friends. Just come to Him in faith and in humility. Admit that you are wrong and you need Him. And He is making Himself available to you with love and understanding and compassion, ready to meet your greatest need. God bless you. Father, there may be someone who has listened today who is not feeling so good in his spiritual life. But you are there for that person, ready to forgive you, such a person, ready to accept and restore that person to yourself by meeting his need. Bless everyone, O oh Lord, that we will be drawn closer to you because you are such a wonderful person wonderful friend. Thank you for helping us. In Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you, my friends. Rejoice in the Lord and be faithful to Him and be grateful to Him. God bless you. Have a wonderful day today. Enjoy with His presence with you.